Hello everybody, a warm welcome to this Intellect Convergence Meet. My name is Krishna and I am the Chief Technology Officer for Intellect Design. My session focuses on the evolution of a product's unified architecture and how it aligns towards our three broad segments. First is keeping our products current and utilizing stable new technologies to provide the necessary benefits. And two, existing customers, what can you expect from our product upgrades and the common benefits? And three, for digital transformation cloud-focused initiatives, right? So for a bank that is looking for a reliable partner in their digital transformation journey. So let's come to our first focus area, keeping our products current. Microservices architecture has been the de facto target when we started with our investments few years back in having our products ready for cloud. So in our typical intellect style, we had a set of design thinking sessions to discover what are our stated and unstated needs that should also be provided by this architecture. And this helped us add two more clear expectations from our products, composable and contextual. So what is composable? Composable primarily focuses on the ability to mix multiple capabilities to create a new capability. Along with that, provide an option to also orchestrate this mixing to enable better value. While contextual focuses on the need to put the end customer at the center, design experiences that create a delight to the customer, removing friction and thereby enabling faster decision, provide actionable insights at the place where it is necessary to enable a customer to achieve the stated and unstated needs. And four, low touch or no touch AI for 98% straight through processing. Keeping these in mind, we developed the following platforms. One, Canvas technology. That is a low code platform for developing omnichannel applications. Two, iTermeric, a platform that provides true composability through APIs, creation, integration with external APIs, API discovery, and orchestration and a more important thing, a concept that we call domain objects, which is a quick way of lifting legacy capabilities to expose as APIs. Third is our Doc2 API platform, a cloud native platform supporting advanced algorithms for handling all kinds of data, structured, semi-structured, and unstructured for data extraction. Fourth is our CBOS platform, which is again a cloud native platform for developing any domain capability for corporate banking needs. And fifth, a data platform for processing data intelligence and insights. Each of these platforms work towards enabling creation of a composable and contextual experience. So around 2020, there has been a rise in awareness around the term MAC technology, which is an acronym for microservices based, API first design, cloud native and headless. Now, why is this important? It becomes important because this has become a de facto expectation or a standard expectation from our products to provide Mac compliant technology. And the interesting thing is, our investments has in effect been in the same direction through and through. So, what does this offer for our existing customers, right? Our focus is to aid our existing customers to upgrade to our latest versions so that they can derive the full benefit of our composable and contextual platforms and to deliver higher value to their own customers. And having a central composable platform like iTermeric has also resulted in a unified open architecture platform that now hosts our APIs delivered through package business capabilities also known as PPCs. This coupled with a platform like Canvas technology provides the complete composability aspects right from UI UX to API orchestration. For customers having digital transformation initiatives, how does our architecture help? Our architecture and products effectively provide an open finance platform, right? And that comprises of package business capabilities, which is PBCs, products having an API-led architecture and a composable platform in the form of iTermeric, which provides all the capabilities needed to work with these. A combination of these gives a power-packed combination of ready boosters 
to start off on a digital transformation journey. And an interesting option that they enable is that these capabilities can be part of your run the bank sequence and not necessarily as part of your change the bank spend, which means it can be far less disruptive and provide a good progressive modernization path. So to summarize, our products are built on a unified open architecture, Mac compliant, composable and contextual. Thank you.